Vetch. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn, speed racer. Good girl. She knows this. She knows this well. Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. We whipping the two Jay-Z today. Skirt, skirt. No, no, no GTR. No GTR. Two Jay-Z. Excuse me? Hello? You Wait, doing? you're Ivan. No. I watch all your detailing videos. <laughs> That's Mario. That's Mario? Yeah. Oh shit. You look like Ivan though. Nah, that ain't me. I'm Luigi. Okay. Yeah. Close enough. Right now we are out here in this plaza in Milpitas. If you guys live in this area, you know what this plaza is. This is the 99 Ranch Plaza, AKA the plaza where you get your car f***ed up by one of my people. <laughs> Cause honestly, this is a war zone out here. Like this parking lot. Bro, there's a spot right here. Now there's a spot. <laughs> this parking lot is intense. Like all these people don't really know how to park and drive and hit shit. And it's just, it's bad. Right now we're in Mayflower. It's a uh, dim sum restaurant. And thank you. It's a dim sum restaurant out here in Milpitas. And if you guys don't know what dim sum is, basically they like roll these carts out with all these delicious little treats and stuff like that. And you just tell them, yeah, I want this. No, I want this. And that's basically how it works. And then you get a thing right here. They stamp it. And then you owe them hella money at the end. Right there. <laughs> that's essentially how dim sum works. We'll show you guys today. What was that, that mixture you made? It was some, uh, some soy, soy sauce. Soy sauce and this. Yeah. You want some? Possibly. You could do that. Shing, company, shing. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Papi, keep home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sweet, sweet. No thanks. That, that's it. That's it. Uh, no? No, just these two. All right, boys. The food just arrived. We got some uh, barbecue buns and some shrimp something. Don't know what it is, but it's delicious. All you got to do is just add it to this magical sauce that we created. Soy sauce and pepper combination is just beautiful. All right, all this food. This is a lot. Barbecue pork buns, you got shrimp, we got more pork, more shrimp, and then that's like beef and shrimp. You gotta go in for the infamous taste test now. Just grab one of these things, dip it in, and you just go in at it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. All my Asian people, this is it, right here. Mm. You guys see this right here? This is probably one of my favorite dishes from dim sum is the, uh, the shrimp balls. So you take half the bowl sec of the shrimp that's fried. You dip it, it's still hot, it's still hot, and then you just indulge. Just... Mm. The ball sack of the shrimp. Mm. <clears throat> that was good. That was really good. We didn't over order this time, we ate everything that was on our plate. We're still, like, we're full. So we're not comfortable. Yeah, comfortable full, not like disgustingly full. Total for both of us was 35 bucks, so that's not bad with the tip, about 40 bucks. Nice little asian -y lunch. Pretty good, guys. If you have never tried dim sum yet, get an Asian friend to take you because it's kind of an interesting it's, it's, experience. It's good, honestly. Because I just, never tried it before until Alex yeah. uh, like told me about it. Like, you got to go to the good places, though. Yeah, go to a good place and be firm. Cause they're gonna try offering you stuff that you don't want and you gotta be like, nah. Or just go no, to, no. The, to the bakeries. Oh yeah. And just like order just like a couple things just to try it out. Try it out real quick, see if you guys like it. Yeah. Did I get that? What? They hit something. I told you guys, this parking lot, <coughs> scary. Oh, they oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. Holy shit, holy shit, oh my god. We're in a war zone. We are in a war zone. Have you guys seen World War 3? Or 4 or 5? This is it. This is it right here. You cannot bring a nice car near anywhere near 99 Ranch. Don't do it. Yo, what the f <laughs> This boy is close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Thanks, Kevin. We are in the back of the fix kicks right now. I think what we're about to do is legal. Legal, it right? Is. It's legal, right? It's legal. But we're gonna show you guys how to come up and make some money, man. If you don't have a job, I know you know it's like Christmas coming up and all that, and you wanna make some money. This is the easy way to make money. Pop this open. <clears throat> like that. And we're good. No, we're good, we're good. So this is an easy way how to make money. I know this vlog hasn't really like started started yet, you know, what we really wanted to do, but we're gonna make some money right now. You wanna see this? We can make twenty dollars in less than ten minutes. Easy. I feel like there's somebody in the backyard, but when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Exactly. These limes are fire. Wow, the come up is real, guys. We got maybe at least like 20 to 25, maybe 30. Limes and lemons? I think it's just limes, bro. Do limes. They, do, do they grow on the same tree? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why this smells really Dude, good. Dude, it smells though. really good. You guys, can you get a whiff? <sighs> no herbicides, no pesticides, no germicides, no nothing. Straight maybe. organic, straight natural. If you're gonna sell that, you sell it a dollar a piece. I don't know who would pay a dollar for a lime, but. Maybe 50 cents. That's like. Hey, at one point, limes are expensive. Yeah, at least like 10 to maybe 5 to 10 bucks in limes right there. And less than. That's easy what, money. Baby. Five minutes? Yeah, super easy Place money. lemonade out this? Yeah. Good. Three hours later. The sun is setting, guys. So, we're gonna try to finish this video before it gets dark. We're gonna be doing a little bit of headlight work today. Nothing too intense. We do have to do a little bit of work before we install what we purchased, and Ivan's gonna be helping us with that. There's this little, like, foggy line right here. And we want to clear this up before we put the eyelids on this car. We did this before when we first got the car. And of course, you know, as you drive the vehicle and as it sits in the sun, some new stuff is going to collect on it. Before it was terrible. Pretty sure the eyelid would cover it anyways, but we're going to make sure that we do this the right way and just get rid of that before we put the eyelid on there. You ready, Ivan? Sand it down very lightly. It's only 3,000. Maybe just to make sure that there's no contamination on there. And we can always polish this out, so it's no biggie. 3,000. See all that milky yeah. like, residue? That's like contamination. And I mean, there's possibly some stuff on here, but that's mostly uh... You guys see it. If you guys didn't know, you think that, you know, I do the YouTube thing full time. I actually work at Toyota and I'm a salesman. So what are you guys looking for today? I can help you out. Looks like uh, you're looking for a mid-sized vehicle. So I'd highly recommend the, you know, Toyota Camry. Huge shout out to Paul for hooking me up with this. It's kind of fancy. It looks nice. I do look like a salesman though. Look, <sighs> just get my salesman vibe. These are love stains. <laughs> it was an accident. Ended up here, but it's okay. This is part of the car salesman routine. Experience. Yeah. More more stains, more experience. I love it. I'm getting this thing looking extra good. This is part of that, that love process, right? Yeah. No, that's where the stains came from. Okay. That's the love stains right there. Cool. Once in a lifetime, a true love come below. No more fog, nice and shiny. Be sure to follow Ivan on Instagram at Stay Glossy Auto Detailing. Everything will be down below in the description. <laughs> and personal will be also in the description. If you guys wanna hit him up, hit him up. Bay Area locals. I've been meaning to install this for a while, but 
Didn't have a chance, and now they're finally here. Oh, baby. Let's uh, make sure that the color's right. <laughs> let's pray the color's right, and let's actually pray that it's painted, because some of these come painted and some of them don't. It looks wow. kind of dark. No it looks kind of dark no to me. Way. No way. No way. Oh, hell no. It looks kind of dark now. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Is this do it yourself? Are you supposed oh. to paint it? Yeah. Bruh. Yep, they're definitely getting the one star review. <laughs> Can we, we see what this looks like? <laughs> yeah. They they did paint it. It's freaking Isn't that the right gloss color though? black, bro. We went with super white. <laughs> Bruh. That coke white, baby. Well, actually, let's see how this looks. Yeah. Let's just see. You know what? We're gonna hmm. actually. Hold hold it right there? Yeah. Hmm. What do I think of that? I wanted it white to match the car. But black doesn't look bad either. Yeah, let's, let's close the hood. Watch your fingers. Decisions, what do we do? Do we roast them? Bruh. Everything went wrong real quick. What the hell, man? I really wanted that white. This is disappointing. Hello? Yeah, Chief? It's not. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll let them know. Chief just called and he said, this is definitely not it. Damn it. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit them up. I have options where you could select the paint color and I told them, super white. It came super black. Like it was opposite day or something. The bright side, there's a beautiful sunset going on right now. We got a lot of clouds. We're breathing. We can hear the, the birds chirping, the airplanes in the sky. Life is good. Since we took some L's today, I think it's probably better if we just show you guys what we're going to do for the next couple videos. Just give you guys a sneak peek. I went ahead, found this really dope exhaust on eBay. Hold the flame comments. I feel like it's sick as hell. Oh my god. It is a heart-shaped uh, burnt tip exhaust right here. Again, heart shape, look at that. Two hearts, we got the dually. Oh, this is so sick. Like, this is just gonna sound so good on the van. I think we're gonna do a straight pipe and just make it super loud and just see what it sounds like. But yeah, we're trying to figure out where to place this right now. Um, show you guys in a little bit, but I mean, this thing sounds really good, guys. It sounds like really good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that sounds really good. Thanks. <laughs> you have a 2JZ in your van now? Yeah, it was a, actually it was a 3JZ. Oh, a 3JZ. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nice. So, yeah, we didn't need to figure out where to mount this, but yeah. What do you guys think about this heart shaped exhaust? I think it looks pretty cool. I haven't seen a lot of cars with this, so. Maybe a cool place to put it is like this. G-Wagon Fitment. Just kidding, guys. It's probably gonna go right in this nook right here. Cause this has like a little curve right here and it'll fit the look of the uh, exhaust perfectly. Or we could go just straight in the middle or we could do Japanese drip exhaust sideways, like hella out, just like that. So many possibilities, guys. Or we could do the reverse and just have this, like this way. That looks pretty cool too. I haven't seen anybody with this exhaust right here, so. Yeah, you let us know in the comment section down below. What should we do with this? Where should we place it? It's only a matter of time, really. So stay tuned. We love you guys. We're not taking any more L's today. We gotta celebrate it and end this video with a W. So we're gonna treat ourselves to some dinner. Get a nice little orenchi in. Nice little uh, ramen spot down here in, I think this is like Sunnyvale, Santa Clara-ish. So if you guys are in the area, check out orenchi. I'm telling Ivan that this is the best ramen that we have in this area, in my opinion. It's like a Michelin star ramen place so it's gonna be his first time trying this bomb ramen so we're gonna see his reactions there's usually a wait time that's how you know the restaurant's good is if you have to wait for the food hopefully we can get a quick table in but yeah this is it we're gonna put our names on here and 
tap in with you guys in a minute. All right, guys, the ramen is here. We got the nice egg, a little bit of uh, pork, I believe, some seaweed, green onions, all this good stuff, some bamboo shoots, sesame, oh man. Ramen has been the vibe lately, so again, we are out here at a wrenchy. About to uh, pop Ivan's Orenchi cherry. If you're here, ask for the extra garlic and the extra spicy powder if you like it spicy. This is super fire. Oh man, I'm ready. Super ready. Let's get it. Let's try this, uh, this broth. Ooh, that's good. Oh yeah, baby. It's real good. Oh. Look at that. All right, about to get in on this fire. I said I'm driving Mercedes. My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me. We came from the base. 